Well, this is a GOES satellite picture from this afternoon, and you can see that we've got a pretty good stretch of moisture stretching all the way from the tropics up into the Gulf of Alaska. That is an atmospheric river. It's transporting a lot of moisture from the subtropics all the way up into the Gulf of Alaska. Fortunately, it's not aimed at anybody, so nobody's getting deluged with the Pineapple Express. It's just dropping harmlessly in the ocean. This is what the atmospheric river looks like in a computer model. See those yellows and greens? That's the main band of moisture heading up into the Gulf of Alaska. Those brown areas are actually drier areas in between. But if we put this into motion, now this is Tuesday afternoon, same as the satellite image. We put that into motion. You can see we're in kind of a drying area, which so things are going to be drier as we head into Wednesday. We're not expecting much except for maybe a couple of stray showers. And then as we head on into Thursday, you can see the atmospheric river moves over that ridge of high pressure out there in the Pacific and kind of moves through and just brushes us on Thursday. Doesn't really give us all that much. And then as we head into Friday, a little bit more direct hit. So we're going to be seeing a little bit more rainfall. And then as we head into the weekend, another break as we head into Saturday before we get another push of rain kind of moving through very quickly on Sunday, more drying. And then we see actually a lot wetter pattern kind of push into us as we head towards the first part of next week. This is for Monday and Tuesday. With all those brush buys by atmospheric rivers, you think we might be worried about uh, some flooding, but the good news is it doesn't look like it's going to be a problem. The University of California at San Diego, uh, Scripps Institute, has developed an atmospheric river scale, kind of like a hurricane scale, Cat 1 to Cat 5. In the case of atmospheric rivers, it's AR1 to AR5, where 3, 2, and 1 aren't necessarily destructive. They actually bring us beneficial rain. And there's a combination of how much water is flowing in the atmospheric river and how long it stays over you. And so for the next five or six days, it looks like we're going to be basically, as you can see, AR3s and down. So we should be in pretty good shape. That'll just add to our rainfall totals. And that's, in fact, how most places along the west coast of the United States get most of their annual rainfall is out of these beneficial atmospheric rivers.